Today in my AI laboratory I experimented without painting and it sucked, but I needed to blow my mind. So I created a Frankenstein monster of out painting that is actually in painting with a twist. Let's have a look. Hello my friends, how are you doing? So right now we are in Affinity Photo, but you can use any other software like Krita, which is for free. And here I have an image created with Mid Journey, which is square because it's version 4 and I want to extend it to the side. Now if you have out painting on its own, it will create random stuff and it will not work very good. Also, in this case, we have a specific problem. You can see that we have a nice teal background here on the sky, but on the right side, we see the sky. On the left side, we have buildings and then it becomes blue here. So no matter what you do in Stable Diffusion, this will become a bright blue sky and it really is terrible. So here is my solution. You open up the image just as normal. You can see right now it is square. And then in Affinity Photo, you go to document resize canvas this is the same in Photoshop click on that and then I unlock here in the middle both sides and I want to make it double the width so I write here times two hit enter and you see it has multiplied by two I click on resize this is what I get now of course this part needs to be in the center so we unlock that layer and simply move it into the center now where is the trick here it comes. You want to pick the colors here and then simply paint on the background whatever you want to have. So take your brush, make it a useful size and then here you have the color picker. Start with the sky color and you're gonna paint this in over here like so. You can actually make your brush bigger to just paint all of that in here. Then you want to pick the next color, for example for a building and you want to paint in some structures here in any kind you want. So you can be really creative with how should that look. Now the next thing is we're going to take here a shadow color and we're going to paint in some of that stuff here. Again, be creative with the kind of layout, the kind of composition you have here. Now, as you can see on the right side, I'm in my swatches tab. What that means is here I have the last used colors so I can click on them and I can easily now over here paint in more of the sky like so. And then I can also paint in more of these structures. And then over here, that little bit of blue, I want to paint that out so we don't have any problems like so. Perfect. Now we're going to export this. So file export as a JPEG in that resolution, export it any way you want. Next, we go to the browser where we have locally installed Automatic 11.11. Go to the image to image tab and to the in paint tab down here. It's pretty important. Up here, select the Stable Diffusion 1.5 in paint model. That's pretty important. So then wait until this has loaded. Next, we're going to drag our image in here and then here you have your brush for masking. Make the brush pretty big and then paint the complete left side. Don't paint both sides at the same time because that's a little bit too much for the AI to understand. Now, when you ask yourself, why do we paint this if we mask everything out? Here is the reason why. You want to make down here the settings for original. So this is based on the content on the colors that are found in the image. It's a very important part. Then you want to make your check mark for in paint at full resolution. For the in paint at full resolution padding pixel, I would suggest something between 40 and 90. Play around with the settings to see where you get good results. Then you want to have down here crop and resize. And for the sampling steps, you can, for example, set it to 30 steps. I have DPM fast, but you can try out different of these sample methods. For the resolution, I'm going with 704, but you can set everything up that works for you. Now, just to clarify why these steps are important. When we set this to original in painted full resolution crop and resize, what this is doing is it will render this masked part with the resolution we have set here and then it will downscale it and put it over that part of the image. 
And this is also why we do the left side first, because otherwise we are going to split the resolution over both parts of the image. And that's not a great idea. If you look down here for the next settings, I find it's a good idea to have a high denoise strength setting. So I set mine to 0 0.85, but experiment with yours to get the best results. Also for the CFG scale, experiment with that. Right now I have mine at 11. Let's go up here to the prompt. Describe the scene you want to have and the style so it is similar to the style in which you have rendered the original image. If you have created that image in stable diffusion, it is also a good idea to use the same seed to get a similar result. So in my case, what I'm writing here is abandoned apocalyptic sci-fi city destroyed building rubble and trash on the ground, Mebius art style, highly detailed, high contrast line art by Mebius. In the negative prompt, I have written car because with the apocalyptic city, you get a lot of car wrecks. I don't want to have that. And then you simply click on generate and see what you get. So here I have my first result for the left side and this is already looking pretty nice. You can see that for some reason it's a little bit low contrast, but you can fix this in post if you want in Affinity Photo later. So let's say we are happy with this. Click here on this arrow that is pointing backward to remove the mask. And then when the mask is gone over here, click on send to in paint. After this has loaded, you can see now we have the new part in the image and this part is remaining. So mask that out too. In this case, you can see that we have a bit of moon sticking out behind the building. So it might be that in the render, the moon is just ending there. So I would cover that part of the moon also with a mask like this. Let's click on generate and see what we get. After several tries, I have created this image. Give it a try yourself and post your results in my Facebook group. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.